I said our good friend Quan is going to take over for us in a minute, right? Yeah. When's Javi going to be? Huh? When, when you're... Uh, I, I appreciate that. Grand Finals just comes rolling in. Okay. So we got Puppe and Shutan. Names are switched, but we got them going into this game number one. It's going to be a crazy, crazy set. Two very highly ranked PGR players playing their, you know, specialized characters here. Pokemon Trainer and Olimar. New characters are in there, and and, and uh, people, a lot of people talk about Shutan and what exactly what he can do, especially uh, he's able to get away from that pressure. But look at this Pikmin usage. He's actually unable to go for it, but Puppy is fearless in chasing him down, especially on this, uh, this bu not Bulbasaur, but he switches to Ivysaur. Thankfully, he's able to get away, but Puppy really struggling right now. <laughs> oh, God, the names are confusing me. He's actually able to get away with it. Here comes a down throw into the up special conversion. Olmar is light, so he's got to be careful of that. Yeah, I mean, he's definitely a light character, but his recovery is kind <laughs> of just straight going there. He has no way to uh, dodge around it. Gets the double dip going in. Puffe really feeling himself right now, and here comes the up throw into the up air. you got to optimize those combos somehow. Oh, my God. He looked for the platform drop into the up air. Didn't find it, Shutan was able to stuff it out with a back air. And Charizard is back on, but that Nair catching out so much. So he's got to be careful in this case. And here comes the Nair once more. He uses the Whistle Armor. Intelligent play coming in from there. And don't get confused. That's Puppe on this Pokemon Trainer. Yeah. And doing a great job of it right now. He's sitting uh, over a full stock up here on against Shutan. And he switches to Squirtle. Oh, I don't in. know about that one. I think he just wants to switch to Ivysaur yeah. for the more range. It's a gamble that he's willing to take in order to get that little bit of advantage. And here comes the white Pikmin on him. He's got to get it off of him. Thankfully, he does, but he gets in there. The last few hits clip him out for a little more damage. Yeah, I think he realizes anything's going to kill him at this percent anyways. He doesn't have to stress too, too much about the Pikmin being on him. Pro <laughs> Smash will do it. Yeah. So... He's able to get so much right now. Doing the best as he can. The up air clips him out. There we go. And the up air hit him so hard that they corrected the names. My goodness. <laughs> All right, near into the up air. That's going to be a lot of damage. He looks for another one, but Shuton with a great air dodge. Going to get himself back down onto the stage. But for how long can he get some damage of his own? Oh, my goodness. 49. Quite a bit, honestly. Yeah, 58%. And look at this damage coming in right now. Shuton, once he gets those Olimars, once he gets those Pikmin rolling, that's when he's able to get those off. He went for the hard reach in that F smash, but not able to find it. And there's one thing I love seeing from Shuton is his use of the Whistle Armor to get away from these really bad situations. He's able to find his way back up once more, so he's still alive. Oh, that's going to be a back throw. Put him in a very dangerous situation. Looking for the edge guard. Oh, and the oh, down oh. air. Puppy with a two stop. That looked like his most dominant game on stream so far. Yeah, and especially against Shuton, yeah. one of the top players of Japan on the Silomar. Remember, like you said earlier, both of these are high PGR players. High. Why don't you take it from here? High ranked PGR players. That's where I believe my co commentator is trying <laughs> to say. It's okay, Wolf. We all have those days. But Puppy looks like he's really started to find his stride here. You know, started off a bit slow in the day, was able to. Man or was able to clean up all his sets, even if they were a little shaky. But now, he's looking in full prime form here against Shutan. Yeah, he's able to do so well. But Shutan, he's he's no slouch either. Remember, we saw T lost against Wadi, but was able to bring it back. So hopefully, he's switching back to a more passive play style, as you can see right now. And he's fishing for these up smashes, because he knows how much damage it will give him. And 47% already. 56! Oh my goodness. That's just the pressure that it delivers to you. 78, working on the zero to death right now, but... Thankfully, Poppy breaks it. Oh, oh my God. God! And he recognizes Poppy was starting to just try and go hold forward, get a lot of damage on to Shutan as a response. Says he, he's going to jump from this ledge. I'm ready for it. But poppy has got the best backers. Mm -hmm. He's doing so well. He's really able to space him out. But great job by Shutan. Shutan to get that spike, and I love his usage of his arrows to, in order to get back, and he looks at these up airs, he forces the switch out, but great parry, the M smash with that purple one is gonna hurt quite a lot. He's able to get away with it, and he's throwing him out, knowing he throws out the purple one, knowing it'll do a backup. Oh, no way, he uses the armor from the M smash to get away with it. Puppy gets away from that spike with the skin of his teeth. Another whistle armor, are you kidding me, Shutan? 
this incredible play of Olimar doing exactly the tools you gotta do. Another parry. That's gonna kill. Incredible play by Shuton. Yeah, Shuton really starting to come alive here on this game number two. 124%, but still a dangerous situation. I love the stall down there, but the back throw is gonna be enough to do it. You cannot stall enough for that. My goodness, he's doing so much work off of this stuff. Here comes the up smash. It leads to so much damage. 51. You don't feel too good about that. When you thought Hero could get a lot with one F smash, you've never heard about Olimar's up smash. He's able to get so much damage off. And here comes the whistle to use because once more, Puppy is really fishing for it, but the down tilt forces him off the, the stage. Oh, goodness. Yeah, and are we going to see a two stock as an answer here for Shuton? It's really starting to look like it, if you ask me, because he has already put 120% on Pape's last stock, putting him at kill percent. Up throw, and that will do it. Blue, uh, blue Pikmin throws are incredibly strong. Just forced him directly up, and oh goodness, Pape really felt the pressure on game number two. It felt like, because game number one, he was able to get those arrows off and play his yeah. game, but shoot on one up smash, 56%. Yeah. And that was really the difference is Shuton was finding a lot more openings on that game too. Maybe Pape was playing with a renewed confidence after two talking on game one says, I'm just gonna go in and do my damage. Mm -hmm. And Shuton says, take a step back. You know, you can't just run into me like that because if you do, I'm gonna get all this damage. And I love how Shuton already starts out the game playing really passive, throwing these Pikmin off and simply going off stage knowing he's not gonna get punished for it. And I love his use of the Gov special as well. But speaking of his specials, Whistle Armor, it's such so a great good. usage of it. And Puppy needs to be careful, because remember, one missed grab, an up smash is going to lead you up for so much damage. He's got to be careful. He's actually going to use the water gun to force him up. But the weird thing about it, for some reason, when you switch Pokemon, the Pikmin don't go off of you. No? No, they stick to you, hmm. which is actually really bad. A lot of talks were talking. I remember Tweak talked about it earlier when he was playing that Pokemon trainer. And look at that red Pikmin. So much damage off. He's got to be careful with the cycling, but here comes the back air. It's on him to find out what the up special itself, and he grabbed the wrong way. Yeah, but it's okay because spot dodge is a very good option in this game. He's going to be able to dodge Shuton's grab as a punish, and instead keep it going. Great use of the Vine Whip. Yeah, he's able to find the stock just like that, and Shuton forced on the back end. But he's got a pro Pikmin, and right now he's holding onto it, and he knew that the red one was coming out next. Both of these do incredible damage. It actually interrupted it. That gives him up. Oh my god, incredible play from Shuton, knowing exactly what it's going to do, and he's looking for the up great pivot grab itself, but speaking of grabs, Pape fires back with his own. Yeah, Pape able to get a grab as well, and it's going to lead into some damage. He still has a small lead here over Shuton. He's able to get the best out of it. And look at this aerial attacks. Pape is getting walled out. The jab lock. The jab lock with the Pikmin? Oh goodness, Puppies! If he's if Puppy didn't feel the pressure in game number two, he sure as hell is feeling it in game number three. Yeah, but we are we were seeing at least a little bit more of the reserve Puppy we saw in game number one. But now it looks like he's really trying to go in and find it. Oh, he made it and out. There it is. He knew the air dodge was coming out. Shuton gets his stock taken, so Puppy, he's still got life in him. If he's able to run away with this lead, using the razor lead, he's surely got a chance. But the M smash catches him out. He's forced to use the only option he had. He almost got grabbed it, but here comes the down throw into the fair as well. Puppy, he's looking for the up air, gets it out for a little more damage. Charizard with rage is terrifying to go up against. Oh. Oh my yeah, god! So he's high. got it! Puppy takes it over Shuton in winner's quarters and moves it on forward. And another two stock. Puppy's gotta be feeling great right now about that one.